If you've watched Rocky 4, you'll have seen Rocky do this exercise, and I bet you that you've tried it yourself. I tried it many times when I was a little bit younger, a little bit stronger and better shape. But this exercise is extremely difficult to do, really beneficial for core strength. And you can see as it's getting to the vertical point, it's really kyphotic in nature. And this kind of leads on to like a discussion around sit-ups for boxing. You know, should boxers be doing sit-ups when it's been like a foundation, a cornerstone of boxing training traditions. Because boxing is a very anterior dominant sport, often quite kyphotic, then if they do more sit-ups, affecting their postural stability, which can lead into injuries. Not really improving core strength and stability of the transverse abdominals, which is really beneficial in creating that stability through the core, creating real trunk and core strength, and also protecting boxers from lower back injuries. Instead of doing exercises such as this out of Rocky 4 or doing hundreds of sit-ups, you might want to try some of these exercises that we use with the boxing science athletes. So the first one is straight arm, straight leg sit-ups, weighted either with a plate or with some dumbbells. Straight arm, straight leg sit-ups, challenge hip flexion with neutral spine. So you want to keep your legs flush against the floor and try and flex the hips whilst keeping legs flush against the floor with a neutral spine so you're not wanting to go into kyphosis you want to keep that chest up as you get up to the top keep them arms as high as possible all the way through the movement and when you're coming down it's a real challenge to keep that postural stability whilst you're coming down slow so you can start off with two seconds on the way down being nice and controlled but then you can extend it to four six maybe even eight seconds it's a fantastic exercise that really gets the core burning you can progress this exercise by adding a press on the top. Do it with dumbbells or with a barbell. What boxers also struggle with is overhead strength and stability. So adding a press in this action, being in this kind of vulnerable position that a lot of boxers struggle with, adding a little press into it, the core has really, really got engaged. It does work kind of the shoulder muscles and the particular posterior shoulder muscles, but predominantly, this is a core exercise. Five or 10 kilo dumbbells, or with a bar, maximum 10 kilos, maybe even 20 kilos. Doing the press at the top, maintaining that postural stability, and then controlling it on the way down. You really start feeling it in your core. Next one is leg lowers. So performing this in a supine position, legs at 90 degrees and your arms outstretched, challenging that core strength through an increased range of motion by lowering the arms and lowering the legs simultaneously. Keep that lower back flush against the floor by tensing the core, keeping your belly button tucked in, and this is really working, hip flexion with neutral spine, but also anti-extension as we're looking to resist that extension of the spine. This can really build up core strength and postural stability. Increase the load on this by using dumbbells or using a weight plate or even a kettlebell as well. The next one is half dead bugs. Similar to the leg lowers, using a weight and the legs at 90 degrees, extending the arm back whilst only extending one leg. So we're challenging hip stability as well. So the hip stability is created by tensing the core a little bit more in conjunction with the hip flexors. This is gonna be really beneficial in your core and hip stability. So you keep one leg at a 90 degree angle whilst dropping the leg down. You've got to be really straight on keeping that leg fixed in position. You want to be trying about eight reps to 10 reps on each leg. You can progress this using heavier weight load or skip the arm raise, grab a feather band instead, create more tension through the core. The next one is a supine hold. This is a fantastic exercise to improve strength and endurance of the core, which can help reduce lower back injuries. You want to make sure that you're keeping your stomach nice and tense, slow back into the floor, being in that leg lower start position. And what you're going to do is extend your arms and legs around about 80% at the maximum distance that you can go. And you're wanting to hold that position for anywhere between 20 and 40 seconds. Feel like you can hold it for a little bit longer, increase the weight load of the arms, or get a band and create tension this way instead. You can progress this by doing the supine holes on a glute ham raise. Doing it on glute ham raise, obviously you haven't got that relationship with the floor anymore. Your body weight of the trunk and the upper body is basically creating more tension and more increased demand on the core. You can increase demand by having a band either overhead or around the chest. Around the chest, you can actually get the partner to pull down the increased effort 
for anywhere between three and five seconds. And this is exposing the core to higher forces, something that is quite difficult to do during core training exercises. Most of these core training exercises that we're sharing with you is for 20 seconds or above, or 10 to 12 repetitions. It's more working strength endurance rather than working maximum strength of the core. By pulling down for a short amount of time, the athlete has got to exert more force going through the trunk. This can really improve core strength and stability. You can also do higher forces through a supine Swiss ball hold, where you're getting into that leg lower position, but this time a Swiss ball in between. Squeezing that Swiss ball for as hard as you can for anywhere between five and 10 seconds. You can do an endurance hold for 20 seconds, but you're missing that maximum strength and force element out of it. To be performing anywhere between three and five repetitions. Straight arm, straight leg sit up with an offset kettlebell. So increasing the load by using the kettlebell will increase the core demands. Doing it offset and only doing it in one hand will also engage the obliques as well, whilst also challenging overhead shoulder stability. About eight repetitions on one side, swap over and do eight repetitions on the other side with about 10 or 15 kilo kettlebell. Give these exercises a go and let me know how you get on. And if you're wanting to find out more about the Boxing Science training methods, go and check out the Boxing Science website, boxingscience.co.uk, where you can access a range of different programs you can also get 50% off your first purchase with this discount code below. And also check out the Train Like Champion membership, £19.99 a month, where you can train like a boxing science athlete. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you on the next video.